The Hillers taking on Plymouth South in the first round of the playoffs. Bottom of the second scoreless game, two outs, bases loaded. Freshman Emily Whalen at the plate. Emily Whalen with a huge opportunity here. And we'll put this one on the ground up the middle. Glove that short throw to second is going to be not in time. Everybody safe and a run scores. Emily Whalen gets the job done, an RBI single. That would be the only run of the game. Mirabli finished with 11 strikeouts. Heather Holly scored the only run, and freshman Emily Whalen had the only RBI. The very next day, the Hillers met up with 19th seeded Walpole in the quarterfinals. Walpole was just getting off a huge upset of third seeded Marshfield. Bottom of the first, the Hillers' bats got going. And she will go all the way safely to third. It is a triple to start things off for Lily Morningstar. She absolutely tattooed that ball to left field. Wide up and the pitch, and this is hit in the air to right field towards the fence, and that is off the fence. One run in to score as Holly now rounding second to third, and it's back-to-back -back triples. Mirabli then went on a strikeout tear. Certainly a great start to get that run in the first inning. Is there strike three? Mirabli strikes out the side, and who knows, she might not need any help at this rate. Nothing lead for the Hillers, and another strikeout for Mirabli in the second straight inning. She strikes out the side. That is eight strikeouts in this game for Mirabli. One nothing Hillers as we head to the bottom of the third. Top of the sixth, one out, Walpole trying to manufacture a run, but catcher Kate Wilzell and second baseman Emily Whalen did this. There's a ball throw down to first, runner is out! What a throw down the line! And a great tag by Whalen. Regan picked off of first base, two away. The Hillers' bats added security on the bottom of the sixth. Lefty hit in the air over to right field towards the fence and that'll drop in front of the right fielder. One run into score, a second run being waved around. Mirabli coming to home plate and will score the third Hillers run. A two RBI triple by Lindsey Whittles. And this is line pass off the glove of the shortstop. Whittles around to score. An RBI single for Isabel Holden. It's 4 0 Hillers. Then that security really came in hand as things got a bit dicey in the seventh. Make it a 4 0 lead. And this is crushed into center field. Back towards the fence, and it is off the glove of Morningstar and will go off her glove past the fence. And that is going to be a home run. That is certainly a rough one for Morningstar. And she had a hard collision with the wall out there. Bradley set to deliver. And this is hit in the air to center field. That'll drop down. A run being waved around, and the runner will score. Bree Mirabli then went back to her old tricks. Bradley deals. Strike three. Two away. Line up and the pitch. Strike three, and the Hopkinton Hillers have done it. Despite a threat in the seventh inning from Walpole, they end up scoring two runs, but not enough as the Hillers get the four to two victory over the Walpole Rebels. The Hillers get the job done. Mirabli strikes out 14 hitters as the Hillers get the 4-2 victory over resilient Walpole. Lindsey Whittles on fire in the postseason at the plate. She went 2-3, for three, including a 3-RBI three triple in the 6th. Hopkinton advanced to play a third day in a row against King Phillip. All right, Coach, a couple great wins, back-to-back -back wins. A little bit, a little, got a little bit uh, crazy there at the end, yeah. but uh, could you talk about this game? Yeah, I mean, we came out strong right out of the bat. I was psyched to see, you know, Lil and Katie just popping that ball right off the bat. They're known for bunting and speed, and they got to show off their bat, so I was happy for them. Um, you know, and then on defense, I thought we did a great job today, and we just kept getting back to getting up, and, uh, 
you know, the bats, the bats were there. We had moments of, you know, getting a little too excited, but they were there for us. Um, yeah, it was, it was a good day. <laughs> and uh, Bree Mirabli pitched another great game. I think it was 13 strikeouts she had in this one, but mm -hmm. maybe got a little tired there at the end, you think? I mean, she's a game time player, so even if she was tired, she was still serving it up, you know, at the very end. Um, that was a great hit, that home run. That that was just a great hit on a tough pitch. So um, she brought it the whole time, hoping she gets a lot of rest tonight. We got a big opponent tomorrow, game three. But she's done it before this season for us. I'm sure she can do it again. We have Heather at the ready. Absolutely. Heather Holly can throw for us just as well. So she's ready to go. All right, now is Lily Morningstar all right there? It looks like she took a pretty hard hit from the fence. She might be one of the toughest kids I've coached, so I took about two steps to check on her, and she's like, no, I'm good, I'm good. Um, she told me the fence is really giving, so even though we saw her bounce, I guess that was an okay thing. And it seems like in these last two games, it's really been a very defensive kind of game, and the defense has really had to come through, and overall, you must be pretty impressed with how the defense has responded these last two games. Absolutely. I mean, they've been there all season, but Bree hasn't put them to work all that often. <laughs> She's been doing a lot of the heavy lifting, but um, I'm excited for them to be able to shine too. Um, makes for a much, it feels much more like a team win. You know, we always have Bree's back, but uh, it's nice when they get a little moment to show what they have. All right. Is there anything you could tell us about this King Philip team you have coming up? You know, KP has been a factory for great pitching and great players since I played even before that. So I expect stiff competition, but I know, you know, we're definitely worthy of the challenge, so we're just going to show up, do our best, and, and hope hope for the best and to move on. All right. We uh, wish you the best going forward. Thank thanks, Coach. So, and thanks for a great season at home. You've been awesome for us, and we appreciate you. All right. Well, it's been a lot of fun. Looking forward to covering you guys once again. Absolutely. All right. Uh, another great game by you. How do you feel after pitching back-to-back -back games? I feel good. I mean, I've done it before during the season. I've gone back-to-back -back three times before, so... That's what's going to happen, and I'm excited. It's going to be a challenge, but it really, I get to test myself, and that's exciting. Are you ready for tomorrow? I am. I'm so psyched for tomorrow. Are you going to be icing the arm tonight? Oh, yeah, definitely, all night. Can you talk about your defense? They seem to really have your back out there, a few great plays, and obviously you pitched v uh, very well, but it's really been a kind of a defensive game the last two games, it seems. Yeah, definitely. So, I mean, like the second to last inning, so the sixth inning, when it was like nice and short and Kate picked that girl off, it was it was really good because like I am still throwing three games in a row. So it's really nice to have the shortest innings possible. Absolutely. All right. Well, I'm going to let you go and rest up. You got another big game tomorrow, so uh, make sure you rest that arm and we look forward to it. I will. Thank you.